we really are writing the rules from the beginning here. Yeah, we're taking some of traditional, you know, video and film, and we're taking some of theater, but at the same time, we're creating a whole new language. Are there new camera systems that we can use that will help tell the story better? Is there a way to frame the story that we're telling with new technologies in VR that will help drive it? It's been really amazing working with Radiant. They bring a lot of experience to the table um, and a lot of, you know, a lot of understanding of, of what we're trying to do. And then also a bunch of research from all the new technology that they're bringing in-house. I mean, look, it, Radiant has become a hub of VR. You've got everybody coming in here, working on projects, and it ends up being this really collaborative place. We had to create the helmet system, a way of wrapping the cameras around the actor's head, still giving them the ability to see peripherally and to move completely, especially through a complicated fight sequence. So then you could go through the exact same sequence and you could be Harley. So it's a whole, I think, new area where we're going. They really wanted to be integrated in the whole filmmaking process and the scenes, which is perfect. The whole experience just so much fun. I don't think you can have a more immersive experience than a VR experience. The second you take your goggles off and you look around and all of a sudden you're just sitting in your house or your office, you know, it, it leaves you wanting more. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. Woo! What a ride! We get uh, the feeds from six cameras, dump them onto our computers, then take those six cameras, stitch them into one spherical image, put it back on the virtual reality headset, and then um, send that headset back out to set so they can watch it while they're shooting. So we at Radiant Images, we've been collaborating with Brain Farm on many projects, and we're always excited to see what they're gonna come up with next. What Kurt wanted was some of the things that no one else has ever done in VR, getting subject matters close, lots of action, lots of movement, Pretty much an A-plus list out here in the dunes for two days. It often feels we take one step back. But the long sweep of America has been defined by forward motion. got my wife Emily, my four-year-old daughter Hadley. The hardest thing about this deployment, can't really explain it too well, just daddy's gotta go to work again. 
I have my fiance, Danielle, and my two-year-old son, Liam. They're just the world to me. It's tough for him to understand because he's used to me just being there. I'm Corporal Trista Strouch. I've been on about four years now. Being away is pretty rough. I'm just worried about my son growing up and missing daily things that he does. Hello everyone, I'm Gay Yi Hill and welcome to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. After two decades in space, the Cassini spacecraft has reached the end of its journey at Saturn. Earlier this morning, the spacecraft made its final approach to the giant planet and plunged into Saturn's upper atmosphere, ending this extraordinary mission.